Okay, this is a quick follow up to my video about big dogs, Puro. I thought you'd get that, but maybe not. Okay, you're saying you offer something that distinguishes between life and non life, and that's the, it's on that, the basis of that distinction that you are making a distinction in awareness that all life has something like awareness, including plant life, and I would guess paramecians you seem to be indicating. Um, Big Dog is a, an ambulatory quadruped robot made by Boston Dynamics. You're probably seeing it in the uh, related videos section down the side there, but I'll provide a link in case you haven't come across Big Dog. I'll, re I'll say why I mentioned Big Dog in a sec. It's just that this, that this... Well, there's two things, actually. First, the distinction you're making between life and non-life. It's an irrelevant distinction, I would say. It's an irrelevant distinction. Uh, the, the category of, thing, of this stuff called life... Is, is not one that we can make any kind of a judgment based on. You know, you know as well as I do that life is not a single thing. They used to think it was, powered by a single um, principle, you know, the Alain Vital or the, the Vril Energy or something like that, the Force. But no one thinks that anymore, you know, and haven't thought it for several hundred years. You know, life is a whole set of, of different processes of uh, material, physical, biochemical, electrical possibly quantum, whatever, all sets of processes which, sure, they come together in those living organisms, but they are, some of them are found in different uh, non-living organisms, some of them are found in living organisms when they're no longer living, and so on. So this, just the idea that, there's this, that, this, that once you've made the distinction between the living and the non-living, that's it. it it's, I think it's just completely bogus. I mean, the, the important distinction is between the things in the living because you know as i said before i think you know we live in a world in which we're completely enmeshed within systems that are part of living processes or were once part of living processes you know the ground under our feet if, if you're walking on chalk or if the cliffs near you are made of chalk you're walking on the skeletons and shells of living creatures if you drive a car you're driving on the remnants of carboniferous forests living creatures here i am sitting in my living room and almost everything i'm surrounded by is uh, once alive you know the cotton is fabric that, I've, that I'm sitting on here, the, the wood on the floor, many of the plastics are made by um, petrochemicals, you know, all the, of course the, the, the wooden furniture, you know, all the, most of the important stuff is, is either alive or has been alive, it, it's, just, it's just an irrelevant distinction, you need to distinguish within, within the living things, that's where the distinction makes, and actually the, the, the passage from that article about the history of what was it called the history of plant neurobiology and the closing paragraph of that which you started yourself mentions crucial distinctions and they are crucial distinctions and that's where the, the discussion should be taking place not between these bogus distinctions between life as if it's one thing and not life as if it's something else um I'm just looking at a note on there. Okay, the reason why I mentioned Big Dog, you'll, you'll have seen Big Dog by Boston Dynamics, this quadruped ambulatory robot. It looks like a paramecium, or when I say it looks like a paramecium, it's, if you watch it walking, particularly there's a section where someone kicks it and it kind of staggers to one side, or it tries to walk across ice and it has this way of, ready, of kind of writing itself, it's impossible not to think, oh, that's kind of alive looking, in the same way as you do when you're looking at a paramecium, but we know the structures of how Big Dog works. You know, we know how it works. We know there is no structure in there that corresponds to anything like the structures that produce uh, consciousness, feeling, any of that kind of stuff. Now, if you want to say awareness is just something to do with complex, sensor, complex sensory engagement with the environment, fine, you can have that. I don't mind. I would, I've been using a term like calculation to distinguish that between the felt sense. But if you want to call that awareness, fine. But you're going to have to say that Big Dog is aware in that case. Uh, and complex robots like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Paper bag looks alive. Yeah, because there's two things here, isn't there? You know, there's obviously you're taking the piss out of folk for saying, oh, that paper bag looks like it's alive. But I think that's what you're doing, really, with the paramecium. That looks alive. Yeah, it looks alive. And in the paramecium's case, it is alive. But so what? You know, the, dis the important distinctions to do with certain kinds of sensory engagement, certain kinds of memory, certain kinds of information processing, and particularly felt sense. It's not there in Big Dog, it's not there in a paramecium, there's no analogous structures. Um, it's not there in plants. I know they use terms like nerves, but they're in scare quotes, and it's pretty bogus science, all that neurobiology stuff. So, uh, yeah...
So you're imagining having a, para, a paramecium having an internal feeling. Yeah, it's easy to imagine that, but it doesn't make it so any more than imagining big dog having an internal feeling makes it so. It's uh, an effect, isn't it? Anyway, that's that's that. I would really like it if you could get involved in, into the inside the life thing. I tried to have this conversation with Gary, didn't hit the bait. Because Gary talks about life eating life and, and cannibalism. Tool Time made, made a video where he talked about life feeding on life. But the important thing is to make distinctions in, in that. You know what I mean? It's within, it's with, yeah, of course, yeah, lots of stuff's alive or has been alive or will be alive, fine. But the important distinctions are within that. They're important for me, obviously, from for moral and ethical decisions about what I choose to eat or what I choose to exploit, and they're, you know they, they they crop up in all kinds of other kinds of discussions. The important distinctions are those within these those myriad processes that make up this thing called life, not between life and non-life. I believe.